Okay guys, today we're talking about the ultimate survival Swiss Army knife. Now, before we get into this video, please don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe so that you can see more awesome Alaskan content just like this. Now, in this video, I'm not primarily going to be talking about uh, cool modifications that I've made to this knife, though I do plan to reference a few. Really, in this video, what I'm going to be focusing on is why I think that the Victorinox Huntsman is the ultimate survival Swiss Army knife. Now, the first and probably biggest reason is that this, this Swiss Army knife is not the most capable. It doesn't have the most features, but it probably has the most useful features for the wilderness. So that means you don't have, you know, useless screwdrivers, you don't have random pens, you know. There are, are things that, in more civilized life, screwdrivers and pens make a lot more sense. But out here in the wild, you know, realistically, this tool has the type of equipment or the type of tools that you will probably be using with the highest degree of frequency. And not only that, uh, I also think that the Huntsman has the most realistic or maybe a reasonable size. Of course, there are things like the Swiss Army Farmer that I think probably have a little bit better size to them, but this tool has a good balance of having enough tools or enough useful tools, but also a pretty good, pretty carryable size because I think one of the most common kind of understood things with uh, survival tools is that a good survival tool is only, is the, the best survival tool is the one that you have when you actually need it, when that time comes. And so that means trying to find a tool that you are going to actually carry reliably. And so I think the Huntsman bridges that gap pretty well. So overall with the Huntsman, of course, you have a full sized blade and you also have a pen blade if I can get this little guy out. So that basically handles most of your camp carving and cutting tasks, whether it's processing game animals or whether it's carving out things like traps or different things that you might need, you know, pot hanger latches so that you can hang, a, you know, a bale or a pot to uh, boil your water, you know, things like that, you know, little things that your knife can do. Of course, you do have a, a bottle opener and can opener should you should you find those necessary, you know, if you have cans to open or bottles to open, that'll certainly do the trick. Of course, the can opener is also a flathead screwdriver, but also, most importantly, a little pry bar that you can use to pry open things, should you have to or should you need to. Then, maybe more importantly, you also have, you know, good old-fashioned scissors to cut things. It's very useful. You also have probably for the wilderness most importantly, though not very large, you do have a fairly decent sized saw. And actually under this saw for me, if you guys can hopefully see here, uh, I have a needle and thread there. And that's just one of the many cool things that you can do with Swiss Army knives. So I also have the needle and thread in case I need that to do any type of sewing work. But, um, but that is a pretty handy, pretty nifty part of the tool. And once again, cool thing about Swiss Army knives. So that's the main tool set. Turning to the back, you have three more tools. Of course, the awl, which can be pretty important um, depending on what you're trying to do. You also have a little hanger to pick up things, move things. If you do have, you know, if you're working around a campfire and you're picking up a hot bailing, uh, bailing wire. This is very handy for that. And then lastly, you have a corkscrew, which on the surface doesn't seem particularly useful. Some people might say, you know, you're not going to stumble across that random, you know, wine bottle that you need to open with a cork. Uh, maybe if you're in Europe, you know, some bottles of water are sealed with cork, so that might be a little bit more applicable. But most importantly, what this little guy does for wilderness people is that it can act like a small drill bit or small auger bit. So if you are wanting to drill into a piece of wood, you know, it's not the most spectacular thing, but it does give you the option to drill into wood should you need to. So ultimately, this tool does have the most useful wilderness application 
tools. Uh, you know, you're not seeing any things like magnifying glasses or pliers and, you know, stuff like that. It's not particularly useful uh, out in the wild. All of these tools could certainly be used, except maybe, you know, the can opener. Uh, all of these tools realistically could be used out in the wild pretty regularly. So, uh, that is why I chose the Huntsman. Now, there are, like I said, things that you can hide in the tool, such as a needle for sewing. You can also do things like the modification that I I showed, you know, taking a small piece of bailing wire or hanger and, you know, making a kind of uh, locking bar for the main blade if you're doing a lot of carving. And so there are certain things that you can deck out your Victorinoxes with to make them even more useful. But as a standalone unit, I think that the Victorinox Huntsman is my ultimate survival Swiss Army knife. And that's why I recommend it to people if you are wanting to go the route of the Swiss Army knife. It's not everyone's favorite. It's not personally my favorite. But this tool definitely is one of the best. Okay, guys, that's all I have to say. As always, God bless, and I'm out.